Roger Lewis is a Vietnam vet. He works in the patient library at the VA Medical Center in La Jolla. This is like a barber shop some mornings where the guys come in and we talk. Lewis is a bit of a mentor to the patients who come in looking for books to help them understand the health problems they're facing. Sometimes he gives them a flyer for a class he took four years ago. Lewis says mantram repetition is a technique to control the mind, but it also effectively controls emotions and behavior. When I get really angry, when I feel that need to do something stupid that could get me in trouble, then I use a mantra. Or I turn away, and as I'm walking away, I got to, like, uh, calm down and everything. That's when I use my mantra, and I get to a safe point to where I can function okay. What is a mantra? It's a word or phrase that you choose. For example, Ave Maria or Hare Rama. And in times of stress, you repeat it over and over again silently to yourself. I love mine because I think it's really powerful and hypnotic. You know, it calms me down. It sometimes it's calmed me down so much, like I am right now, just thinking about it. I could easily shed a tear and, you know. In a classroom next to the library, Jeffrey Snodgrass, a newer vet from the first Iraq war, is in his fourth week of doing mantra repetition to help his PTSD symptoms. This is another tool in my, in my arsenal to, to fight the demons in my head. It works very well for, for sleep because a, a lot of times, especially if you wake up in the middle of the night with some sort of, you know, I have, I have terrible nightmares and you know, I'm on medication to help that, but sometimes medication alone doesn't help. So if you wake up in the middle of the night just you know, flooded with memories, it can help you banish those memories long enough to get back to sleep. Victor Ozuna got back from Iraq in 2004. Sleeping was easy, uh, being awake was hard. Ozuna says mantra repetition has helped him stay in the present. Yeah, it was, it was like, you were here, but your mind was somewhere else. It's like the same anger you carry during battle was with you all the time. Um, except that it was it was just internalized. Uh, like I could be really calm right here, but inside of me, uh, it was not calm at all. The mantra kind of controls it, um, brings me back to where I'm at right now, so. So it gives you control over? My mind. Your mind, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. Osuna says the VA's whole approach to PTSD has changed. He says mantra repetition is an example of how they're giving veterans more options besides drugs to control their symptoms. The most important thing is that the BA is taking a step in the right direction. Okay. Now they have to r reach the right audience. That's what Jill Borman of the VA Medical Center is trying to do. She's conducted clinical trials and found that veterans who use mantra and repetition, along with the traditional therapy of drugs and counseling, were twice as likely to report relief from their symptoms as those who use the traditional therapies alone. Certainly in the scientific community, um, some people would say the word's not out yet. That's why we're doing these research studies, because you know there, you need to do more rigorous studies in different populations. Um, on the other hand, uh, I think the VA is really opening its doors to complementary therapy, patient-centered care, uh, looking for integrative therapies where you can integrate um, the complementary types of things with traditional medicine. So I think that that's, it's becoming easier, let's put it that way. Borman's been awarded a million dollar grant to see if veterans around the country are open to non-traditional approaches. Phil Landis says he was initially skeptical. Landis was a platoon leader in Vietnam. Now he's the president and CEO of Veterans Village in San Diego, one of the nation's most respected centers for homeless vets. He took the class in mantram repetition seven years ago, and he says he's still reaping the benefits. You, you don't know I'm doing it. It's the beautiful thing about it. And so, uh, but it's just automatic now. And I chose the word that Gandhi utilized for this same purpose because I figured that, you know, he probably knew what he was talking about. Landis says he'd already spent years working through the trauma he experienced in Vietnam before he came to mantra and repetition. And maybe if I, it had been introduced to me early on, uh, and if I had practiced it, that uh, I could have 
you know, shortstopped a lot of my own journey. Uh, maybe it would have been a tool that I could have utilized early that would have helped me so that uh, I didn't have to uh, uh, spend so much time, you know, dealing with my own issues.